And here we go. It's Rascal. Traveler's Tales. I didn't know they were involved in this. Psygnosis. What have they been doing lately? Yep, Traveler's Tales. I know though. What do I know them from? Was it a Crash Bandicoot game? I don't remember. So, this is a game called Rascal that I owned but never played very much of on the PS1 as a child. And every time I went to a used game store, this was there. So no one else wanted this thing either. I haven't played it in 20 years. And I'm very curious to how bad it really is. Mm. Oh, those are some Pokemon Play It models. That's some beautiful PS1 modeling work. kid's dad a scientist? Is he in a lab? I don't remember this at all. Is, it, is that his voice? He sounds like Goofy. strikes me as a game that I might need the manual for context for. Hello, who are you? Entropy from Crash Bandicoot? It's like Entropy mixed with Jafar and then turned undead. the king from Katamari's weird cousin. Wait, what happened to the bat? Did the bad guy screw himself over? I'm so confused. Look, look at that go face. You can tell he means business. So... This kid is in, like, a dungeon laboratory. He's, like, the assistant to a scientist, and the scientist got raided and kidnapped by aliens, and now there's a smiling moon, a night castle, and a dinosaur on my screen. And the kid looks even less like he did in that, in that cutscene just now. What is, oh, is this, like, a cheat menu? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh... That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I'll have analog mode. Oh, you just jump right in! Oh, that's crust. Is that emulation struggle? Or is this just how the game runs? Okay, so, uh... Immediately, something I noticed that is ace is that this is croc. This is tank controls. Up and down, move forward and backward. And left and right, rotate. I think that's the case. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to press left. Yeah, he rotates. He spin. I can jump. Can I double jump? No, I can single jump, and I can, like, ground pound. And I can shoot, but I seem to have limited, uh, limited slime ammo. 
What what kind of like ten year old still has a has one of these in his room? Also, this kid's a giant. He's taller than the fucking door. It's 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 Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. What is, it, what is this? The save room? There was a memory card on the door. It's it's so sluggish. Okay, I'm waiting. I don't need to save. I think I'm good without this being on my memory card. Maybe it did run like this on the PS1. Maybe this is part of the reason I never came back to this. <clears throat> you know what? Just watch the video at like 1.5 times speed later. And it'll look like it's a competent game. Okay. This is a locked door with, a, of course, a giant keyhole on the wood of the door. There's a lot of doors in this house. I'm afraid to I'm afraid to shoot stuff because I have limited ammo and I don't know how I, how I get more ammo. Is that what this game is? It's just locked doors everywhere. I just, I, this is a walking simulator. Where I can just, I just run around and find keys to doors. And that's, is that the entire game? Wait, I see a target. That's usually a good thing to shoot, right? Oh, that's not a target. What is that? Uh, is this a level? Is this is this how do levels? I'm in medieval time now. I appear to be in a castle, which also has baby-sized doors. There's a moblin, who I should probably shoot, I suppose. That didn't work. Uh, it's red. Does that- what does that mean? Shooting him is still not doing anything. I guess I shouldn't have messed with him. Thankfully, he cannot fit in this baby-sized door. I think I'm safe in here. What's the point of a gun if you can't shoot stuff? It's- it's a dude with a spiked mace attacking a child. How- how does this fit in with the aliens? Did- did they recruit medieval knights to do their bidding? This dude's got a sword! Okay, well now I have a gold key. Are these the keys for the house? Maybe that was the whole level. Or maybe that's for this door. Okay, I got a blue key. 
Maybe I'm just going to, to medieval Europe to collect keys so that I can bring back to my house to open locked doors on my quest to save my grandpa from aliens. This is someone's favorite game. Maybe this is the only video game someone has played. I wonder if there are rascal speedruns on speedrun.net. No, please. Uh-uh. I don't think when I first played this game I ever left, like, the starting room. Okay, bye-bye, Mackenzie. Oh, there's a dragon. Can I shoot this? No, he doesn't seem to care. Much like every other enemy in the game. That's an extra life. I'm I'm remembering when I streamed what what was it called? Clyde's Adventure. A DOS game that I grew up with. Which did not run the way I wanted it to in DOS box. It was a very slow speed. I didn't even find another key. I'd, I would like to give this game the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe I would benefit from like a manual to read. Maybe that would tell me like the goal of the game. Maybe a little bit about the story. Tragically, this is not one of the games from my childhood that I kept. I kept all the others. I couldn't wait to say goodbye to this one. Well, I guess, uh, this is the room I started in. Can I get back to the... Oh, there's a rat. What is it? Oh, the rat hurts. Can I shoot? Can I at least shoot the rat? Okay, the rat takes three hits. How many hits do the other enemies take? Rats and spiders. There's a whole lot of dead ends. 
in this castle slash cave, whatever this is. progress. Oh, hello. Goodbye. As far as I can tell, I must have to shoot these enemies a lot to kill them, maybe. No, I did No, go back! Reverse! I would like to see if I can get through this level. And then I'll, I'll mess around with settings, see if I can get this to run a little bit smoother. Hopefully a lot of it smoother. Okay, we got cannons. Shield, so I probably don't want to shoot him. Oh, that hurt. Jump, please. Kid, Calvin. In stark contrast with the pre with Emperor's New Groove, which had like an orchestra, it had musician credits in the soundtrack. This sounds extremely MIDI. Oh boy. Uh, there's a door. Let's go there. It's like the 3D equivalent of Daydream and Davy. Nope. It's Dr. Eggman. What's he doing? Why is he so buff? Well, I haven't died yet. Does the game's got that going, I guess. It controls at least competently enough for me to move the way I want to move. I guess Croc was training for this. I wish I knew if this was some emulation bug or if they just didn't know how to develop for the PlayStation and they overloaded it. Like there's too many objects on the screen for the PlayStation to handle. Is that, a tre is that a treasure chest? Well, if it is, I can't seem to, like, do anything with it. elaborate level. Hello? I guess 
guess the chests are just decoration. I can't open them. There's a key, and there's the red door back there. How, how do the knights get anywhere? Oh no! Ah! Wait, is he dead? He's still alive somehow. He just, he got brained. Wait, no, he's still at it. He's still kicking. Never mind. So this was this place. It was here already. He has some weird momentum thing where once he's running, once he's moving forward, he tends to keep moving that way. I, I can't stun enemies. And this guy just locks me. Okay, I got past him. As far as I can tell, shooting him just pisses him off, and then he comes gunning for me. There is no camera control of any kind. It's- there's a pig lady? Also, some rooms run better than others. Uh, well, okay. I guess that was something important. We got we got a picture of a, a a king fella with a tennis racket. Are these like devs? It's like a dude playing tennis or badminton and a guy bacon. Well, this appears to be a dead end, and I did not see any other ways for me to go. lady? Where'd she go? She's gone. Oh, there she is. She does not seem to mind, or even aggro like the other ones. I'm done with the uh, night level.
Excuse me for a moment. I am going to exit out and double check if there's any settings I can I can tweak. Let's try lowering the resolution a little bit. Let's make it look worse. And in the meantime, Traveler's Tales. Every time I see this logo, I recognize it, and I don't remember where I recognize it from. Sonic R, Bugs Life, The Wrath of Cortex. That's that's where I recognize them from. Traveler's Tales were involved in Crash, the first PS2 game. Alright, will this run any better? Uh, I want to say no, that's not any better. If it is better, it's not by much. That might be a level later. Maybe I have access to other levels besides Nightland? I believe that's that. I believe that's where we just were. Yeah, it's, it's not running any better. I just, like, halved the internal resolution. What's up here? Can I can I leave? Can I exit the house? Can I go to a better game? Uh, it just appears to be a. Uh, it's just a maze-like little house. Needlessly maze-like. And the only place I can go is the Nightland, where uh, I can't kill anything. And everyone aggros and tries to tries to maul me with maces and swords. Except for the pig lady, who is actually somewhat nice. It's just some weird hub, hub mansion world. Where if, if we knew what we were doing and could get anywhere in night level, maybe we could, find, we could unlock more of, but... Boy, this is a whole lot of not fun, just wandering this place. As far as I could tell, I ran out of places to go. And I don't really want to continue exploring more of it, so... You know what? That's enough for me. I'm gonna let this MIDI continue to fail to play. And I'm gonna say that's that. That's enough rascal. I've had my fill. We got to see the intro movie was the best worst part. That's all we needed to see of the game. And I'm gonna call it for today. Thanks for hanging out, those of you who did hang out. And hopefully I will see you this weekend. Adios.